Hello, my name is Lorena. I'm one of the co-founders of Blogettes and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your self-hosted WordPress blog or website in GoDaddy. First, before I teach you how to do it, we have to I, I want to talk about real quick about the reason why we prefer to self-host. We self-host because it's more flexible. You're allowed to use a lot of different themes. You can purchase a theme in places like Theme Forest or Blue Chic, and then you can manipulate that theme a lot more than on other platforms. You can also use a number of plugins to add more functionality to your site. It's just an easy way to start with something simple and then your project can grow as you grow and as your business grows. Just by adding plugins, you can add functionality, you can add a lot of stuff by self-hosting. You have a lot more freedom in which ads you're going to use. You can make a lot more decisions than what you can do with another not self-hosted platform like WordPress.com or Blogger. So let's go ahead and get started. So now we're going to actually go into GoDaddy and we're going to go through the whole process of setting up our self-hosted WordPress site. And the first thing you're going to want to do here, I'm already logged in into my account in GoDaddy and you're going to go into hosting and here you're going to see an option where it says WordPress site slash blog. We're going to click on it and then you're gonna here. You're gonna choose your plan. Uh, for the first time, I, I would either go with the basic or the deluxe. Um, the main difference is the amount of monthly visitors that you have allowed, and also the storage. And as you can see with the deluxe, you get the search engine optimization plugin. But don't be scared. You can add that to the basic one as well. But just for the sake of show, showing you right now, I'm gonna choose the deluxe one. I'm gonna add it to the cart. And then um, I'm going to choose one month. You can choose one month, 12 months, 24 months. If this is going to be something that you're going to be doing or give it a real shot, I would at least do the one year. But just because we're showing you right now, I'm going to do the one month. And then you can have the option of adding an SSL certificate. If you don't add it now, don't worry. You can come back and add it later. So for now, we're not going to do it. You can click continue. And then... I have two here, so I'm just going to remove one. Here I have the one that I want, Deluxe Manage WordPress for $5.99 a month. And then, perfect. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. Then here you have to add your credit card information, which I'm going to do just right now real quick. Read the terms and conditions, and you're gonna go ahead and place your order. So now, here the order has been submitted, and here uh, GoDaddy tells you it's go time, get started using your product. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Manage to WordPress, and this thing will pop up. So here you can do the new managed and you're going to click set up. And you're going to, unless you want to do a migration, which we can see later, but for now we're going to create a new WordPress site, assuming that just creating a new website, you can select if you have already a pre-existing domain that you have previously purchased with GoDaddy, you can choose one of your domains here and which one you want to use. So. For now, I will choose this domain and then you're going to create your WordPress username and password, which for now we learn uh, put an email that you check frequently, then add your password and then you're going to click finish. And as you can see, my account is being set up right now. You're going to have to wait a couple of minutes for this setup to, to take place. And GoDaddy will update you on how everything is going. 
And what this is doing, GoDaddy made it very, very easy for us to self-host WordPress websites because as you see, the process is very simple and after this process that we're seeing on the screen is done, we'll be able to immediately access our content management system, which is WordPress, and upload any theme that we want for our website and start working on building the blog or website that you want. So it's very, very simple compared to how it used to be before. Now GoDaddy has made it very easy for us. So um, as you can see on the screen, we're almost done. And now it says your account's ready. Get started. After you've clicked on uh, Get Started on GoDaddy, it will take you to where you're, what you're seeing on my screen right now. It's pretty much, um, it'll always be your domain slash WP um, login, which is how you're going to access your site. Here, you're going to use the username and password that you've just created. And um, this will take you to the back end of your site. So here it is. So now you have your WordPress all set up in your domain and you are more than ready to start working on your site. So thank you so much for being with us in this video. We really appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel and thank you so much. Bye.